I'm Andrew Brathwick, CVQ coordinator for Queen's College. Uh, I just want to speak a little bit about the process that we have employed for the assessment of some of our CVQ candidates this year. This process was born out of the necessity to enforce the regulations related to the COVID situation. So we put our heads together and we worked out that we could adequately assess our candidates using a remote methodology. We were challenged by the fact that the area of the school where the CVQs are mostly done didn't have an internet supply. But we solved that problem by buying some dongles and we were able to execute the processes. Now, these remote assessments happened in metalwork engineering, levels one and two, fabric design, as well as data operations. Uh, they allowed us to, to have a recording of each assessment, which is something that we didn't have previously. Um, the assessors worked from isolated rooms at school, so there was no face-to-face -face contact with the candidate. The candidate was able to work in the workshop or the required room on their own. Uh, they could remove their mask and they were able to function. Uh, we had persons in close proximity to the area just in case something went wrong because uh, we still had to maintain the safety, especially for the workshop situation. But the assessor worked from a remote location. In one instance, or in two instances, the assessor worked from home. And the assessor was able to view everything that the candidate was doing, communicate with the candidate. We set up special viewing locations in the rooms so that the computer could be moved from one location to the next to give the best vantage point all the time. Um, we used Google Meet, which is the standard uh, meeting facility for the educational sector right now. So we use Google Meet and we use the record function in Google Meet to record the assessments. Now, there are persons outside of the school setting who are also involved in the CVQ process. We have an external verifier, we have persons at the TVET Council. In fact, this morning we had two representatives from the TVET Council observing the assessment through the Google Meet as well. But the external verifiers who we are, we are conscious to that they may not want to have that face-to-face -face interaction, we can provide them these videos for the external persons to look at everything that happened. And there's actually a permanent electronic record of the process. So I find this to be a little more effective than the face-to-face -face exercise because you would have just had that one formal observation and that's it. But with these recordings, we can go back and we can check and you know we can use these recordings for persons to also observe the process and maybe it gives ideas for what they can do in their institutions as well so this for me is a lasting record of everything that is happening with regards to these assessments You made that first cut. Just remind me how wide that flat is supposed to be. I measured it with a micrometer before we started, and I forgot. <laughs> no, but I believe I'm going to take off. Right, I know the diameter. I just want you to tell me what you're working to. Right, I'm working flat. to um, 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters. Right. Okay. Well, continue, continue. I first heard about the CVQ's Caribbean Vocational Qualification in 2007. And I remember at that time, at a staff meeting, I made a philosophical declaration that I am in support of CVQ, simply because I believe that a student who leaves school with a number of c -sec subjects and kids and who have a number of CVQ qualifications is a more rounded and well-prepared student, not only for the world of work, but the world of study. If you read the school strategic plan, it made it clear that we want to develop highly skilled people, articulate, well-rounded. Um, we want to develop people with critical thinking and problem-solving skills. I want to say that we embrace the CVQs. 
we integrate it. People like to use the word integrate. I, look, I prefer to say marry. We marry it very well with the CSEC and we develop a number of CVQs over the years. I want to thank the CVQ, Mr. Braffitt, for his help in developing and promoting it. And it stimulated me to seek funding all the time in the estimates for the CVQ program. I want to say here today that I'm ever thinking more and more about extend, extending the CVQ program into other areas because I've seen it work that students who have left school have left school with CSEC, K and CVQ. What we witness here today is an assessment done remotely um, with the, in metalwork engineering. We need to do more and more of that. I think that the entire ed educational system should embrace the CVQ program. We are embracing it here at Queen's College in a, an aggressive way. And I want to destroy the myth that Queen's College is only an academic school. There are very highly talented students here who can master technical subjects and vocational subjects as good as they can manage the academics. And as long as I'm in charge, there will be a marriage between the academics that we are known so well for and the CVQ program. Josh, what are some of the special safety requirements with regard to using this machine? Okay, the safety precautions for the machine. Try again? The safety precautions for the milling machine. Relative to using this machine, yeah. Alright, so you want to make sure that the um the collet and the cut the cutting tool are well fastened properly to the actual milling machine. If not, you got the cutting yeah. tool drop out and chip, or you got the collet drop and then you can end up breaking the cutting tool and cost you money. Or uh -huh. you have to make sure that there's locks on the side of the um, bed to make sure that you get accuracy with your cut. But I'm not really using the locks right now because I have to move the actual bed itself. So uh -huh. that's another way that you can do that. And then there's another set of locks up here that lock this top movement, which is, where, yes. which is what adjusts the collet and the cutting tool itself. Uh, but All right, cool. Thank yeah. you. Continue. Right now, I see that the CVQ program and the technical and vocational education is the way that we need to go in order to develop our economy, a one that is built on a very shaky um, tourism foundation. So that is my, the way I see um, the CVQ program. I am very excited about it and ever um, asking the Ministry of Education for funding for the program and I want to say that I would also be putting in the estimates on a regular basis money to fund the CVQ program. Mr. Braffitt only got to identify the area. Okay, Josh. Turn off the machine. So, again, this is a repetitive action. Yes? Right. Where you're going to be reading, making another cut, reading, making another cut. Yeah. So, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to ask you to continue with that. I'm going to ask you to take out the piece now so that we can look at it. Okay. See what you've done. to the camera so that I can see. Okay, let me 
obviously face ends as well. Okay, so you've done a pretty decent job with this. I just want you to tell me how you found this exercise this morning. This middle machine. Um, it was more so just executing what we had practiced from before and what we were taught. Um, but very comfortable with the middle machine because, like you said, I had to go to Willoughby's and Polytechnic, and it, it kind of gave me the practice that I need to, you know, execute the process right here. Uh -huh. So the middle uh, machine. Like, I... Okay, so you didn't have any any issues at all. No, not really. I I just want to say to you that I think you did a really good job. Uh, I love the manner in which you control both machines. I like the confidence that you exhibit when you're working. Uh, the review of the pieces that you have done for the, the development project and the work on the stool and that and the hammer um, also say to me that your skills are quite good as a work student. Uh, I know you've completed the level one and certainly once we have gotten all of the evidence together, you will more than likely be certified at the level uh, for level two in this occupational area. So I just want to compliment you on the work. We're going to have another meeting a little later, discuss a few more things and to look at the documents that you will have to sign. But I just want to compliment you at this time for the effort that you have made. Uh, you've done a really good job and proud to, to say that you have represented your department exceptionally well today. So thank you. Thank you for the effort that you've put in. I know that it's been quite a bit of preparation. I compliment your teacher as well for the effort that has gone in preparing you. But you must take some credit for the manner in which you work today. Thank you, so thank, thank you. Congratulations. And we will connect in a little while to deal with the signing of documents and the other stuff. Okay. My name is Joshua Thornhill. I am a fifth form Queens College CXC student and I have just finished my assessment for CVQ level two in metalwork engineering. The process was completed over an online meeting. It was different than the level one CVQ meeting, but nonetheless to say it was still well prepared for and well practiced and I hope that I executed to please my assessors and my teachers and my principal. It's a pleasure to get the chance to be assessed by my teachers and to get this chance to carry out the CVQ Level 2. Um, I look forward to getting the qualification and I hope that it will gear me towards getting a job or an education at a higher level. Um, with regards to the online meeting, I had multiple assessors, one internal. Um, they basically just critiqued and asked questions more so of an interview form for operations carried out on the machine lathe and behind me, the milling machine. First of all, a facing operation was carried out on a piece of steel pipe on the machine lathe and then after that, a counterboring operation was completed to a depth of 25 millimeters. And then after the counterbore was completed, we carried out a, turn, a taper turn operation on the same piece of steel pipe at a five degree angle until we reached that same depth of 25 millimeters. After that, the machine process on the lathe was complete and we moved over to the milling machine process. On the milling machine process, we had a circle stock of, of aluminum. We faced both sides of the aluminum to make it nice and flat and even. And then after both sides were faced, we made a flat side um, with facing on the same milling machine on one side of the circle piece of aluminum. And that was it for the assessment. Um, I was told that I pleased my assessors and I was happy because I feel like I didn't disappoint my um, teachers or my practitioners and so on.